Rhodochrosite is a really interesting mineral. It belongs to the carbonate group and it's known for its striking pink to red colour. The name itself, Rhodochrosite, derives from the Greek words rhodon, which basically means rose, and kros, which means colour, which is fairly fitting given that it has a very unique coloration. The mineral itself is found in various locations around the world, including Argentina, which I would say is probably the main source, Chile to a lesser extent, Romania, and even the United States. Rhodochrosite is often used as a gemstone, and its beauty has been appreciated for centuries. The Probably a good example is the Incas, who believed that the mineral was formed from the tears of their sun god, and would use it to adorn their ceremonial masks and jewellery. We have artefacts of this in museums dotted around the world, but most notably in North and South America. Today it's really highly valued, and its beauty is often used in jewellery and decorative pieces. We have some really lovely pieces in the showroom, which I would have liked to have taken videos of for this video, but given that I'm still laid up with tonsillitis, it was easier to just do this at home with photos. Probably one of the more interesting things about rhodochrosite is the fact that it has a really unique crystal structure. It forms as a rhombohedral crystal, which basically means that it has three-dimensional shapes with uh, six equal and congruent faces. It basically makes it stand out from minerals such as rose quartz with similar colour but an entirely different crystal shape. In the case of rose quartz, for example, it's more amorphous. All in all, rhodochrosite has some pretty unique physical properties that distinguish it from other minerals. For example, it's a relatively soft mineral. On the most hardness scale, it's only about a 3.5 to 4, which makes it extremely easy to carve and shape. Its specific gravity is also relatively low at around 3.5, which means that it's relatively light as far as minerals go. In addition to its beauty and unique crystal structure, rhodochrosite also has some important industrial uses. Some good examples include things like ceramic glass and fertilizer. It's also used as a source of manganese, which is what gives it its uh, luminous pink color, an important element in the production of steel and other various alloys. To summarize, rhodochrosite is a really unique mineral that's known for its striking color. It has a wide range of uses as well, from being used as a gemstone to being used for decorative pieces and its industrial uses, of course. It's a mineral that has captivated people's imagination and attention for centuries. Its unique crystal structure and properties make it really stand out from its counterpart and a really interesting mineral to learn about and study. As usual, if there are any other videos or subjects that you'd like me to cover, Please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments.